Okay, so this is animation of volume of revolution. Uh, this animation is from Calculus 2, Exam 2 review. The first one is find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by the curve y equals x cubed and y equals x, where x is greater or equal to 0 and it is about, rotated about x axis. So here is the top curve is y equals x, the bottom curve is y equals x cubed, and this is the region and it is rotated around the x-axis and it forms this so it is rot rotated around the x-axis and this is the solid the volume that is generated okay and that's how it looks like and this is the animation that we're going to look at so this animation has been designed Okay, here is the first animation. Um, y equals x is the top curve, and y equals x cubed is the bottom curve, and it is rotated up around the x axis. The red is the x axis, the green is the y axis, and the blue is the z axis. And here you go. As you can see, it's rotating around the x-axis. Okay, so let's remove the plane. Okay, so that was the first animation. Let's look at the second animation. Okay, the second animation is animation of volume of revolution again. Use the method of cylindrical shell to find the volume generated by rotating the region bounded by the curve y equals x squared and y equals 8 minus x squared about x equals 2. So this is the bottom curve is y equals x squared. The top curve is y equals 8 minus x squared. It is minus x squared shifted up by 8. Okay. And we're going to rotate this around the x equals 2. So that's the rotation, that's the axis of rotation. Okay. And this is the volume that is generated, and we will look animation of this volume. Okay. The second animation is y equals x squared is the bottom curve and y equals 8 minus x squared is the top curve and it is about to rotate around the y-axis the red is the x-axis the green is the y-axis and the blue is the z-axis and here you go
uh, let's remove that plane. Okay, so that was the second animation. So let's look at the third animation. The next animation is animation of volume of revolution again. The region bounded by the curve x squared plus y minus x minus 2 all squared equals 4 is rotated about the y axis. So this is obviously it is a circle centered at 0, 2, and it is radius 2. And when you rotate this around the y-axis, you obtain the sphere. And this sphere is the animation of this sphere. We look at it is around the y-axis, and we'll look at this animation. So the third animation y equals square root of 4 minus x squared plus 2 y equals minus square root of 4 minus x squared plus 2 and that is a circle okay and this rotation is around the y axis again the red is the x axis the green is the y axis and the blue is the z axis and here you go. Okay, I can see it is around the y axis. So let's remove the plane. Okay, so that was the third animation. The next animation is area of service of revolution. Find the, the exact area of the surface obtained by rotating y equals square root of 1 minus e to the x, where x is between minus 5 and 0, and it's rotated around the x-axis. So that is y equals square root of 1 minus e to the x, and we're going to rotate this around the x-axis. And this is the volume that is generated, the surface area, and we'll look at the animation of this. The animation is y equals square root of 1 minus e to the x, where x is between minus 5 and 0. And it is, the animation is around the x-axis. Again, the red is the x-axis, the green is the y-axis, and the blue is the z-axis. And here we go.
Okay, so let's remove the plane. And that's the animation. The next animation is animation of surface of revolution, area of surface of revolution, area of the surface of revolution, the curve y equals 1 over 2x squared minus 1 over 4 ln x, where x is between 0 and 3, is rotated about the y axis find the area of the res resulting surface. So that is y equals half x squared minus 1 over 4 ln x. And you're going to rotate this around the y axis. And this is the volume that is generated. And we we'll look at this animation. This animation is y equals half x squared minus 1 over 4 ln x. And that is the curve and it is about to rotate around the, the y-axis. Again, the red is the x-axis, the green is the y-axis, and the blue is the z-axis. Okay, and here you go. Again, it is rotating around the y-axis. So let's remove the plane. Please subscribe, share, and like, and ask your friends to subscribe, share, and like.